It's Eve 2020, May 12th. I am Matterall. Uh, with me is uh, Rich. And Jurgen. All right, the PCU count at the moment is hovering over 33,000 players online. It seems to have gotten... Uh, looks like uh, the server was turned off for a bit there. Maybe has to do with patch notes. They usually come out on Tuesday. Sorry, not patch notes, but a patch or an update usually comes out on Tuesday, so that would be today. And uh, there's probably extended downtime maybe to do some fixing uh, with the recent DDoS attacks or something. I believe they are still working on those problems, uh, so that kind of steadiness, but it looks like it's recovering quite well, and it's now getting near to 34,000, which is... It's pretty good. Let's take a look at the week again. Yeah, that was a big drop. Um, but again, looking at that 40, basically 41,500 uh, PCU that happened over the Sunday, which is pretty good. So looking positive there. Let's look at the stats. Most violent systems in the last 24 hour. Wow, pure blind, big fight. We'll take a, we'll take a look at that. Uh, over a thousand ships destroyed, 750 pods. That was a slug out. Uh, Delve is in number two with 745 and Kalavala Expanse at 712 comes in third place. That's for the outlaw regions in EVE Online. As far as the Empire regions, the Forge tops the list at 2,852 ships destroyed. Lone Trek in second place with 300, sorry, 3,358. The reason that that is in second place is because the Forge had 939 pods destroyed as well. So combined with the ships, that's more than second place Lone Trek. Domain rounds out number three at 2,253. And Sync comes in fourth with um, a little bit more than that, but less pods destroyed. Uh, Sync Liaison had 2,321 ships destroyed. Looking at uh, the actual systems, looks like the pure blind fight was in 5ZXX tack. Uh, I had over 600 ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. He also had some action uh, in number, thir number three here, third place in Insma there. You had uh, JTAC Z, 200 ships destroyed. You might take a look at that too. Most violent systems in low sec. Um, Tama in first place, 435. Oyonato, that's the Bleaklands. That's also Faction Warfare, but for Amar and Minmatar. That system saw 351 ships destroyed. And then Aonenen and Lone Trek, 145 ships destroyed. In high sec, the most violent systems are Jida Narsia. And in third place, Adurn. That's the home of Silent Company. So they're still getting attacked by code. And they had uh, 712 ships destroyed. Okay, before we go to the battle report that happened in 5ZXX Pure Blind, we're going to take a look at the uh, big major kills. Looks like Hard Knox is at work uh, destroying four desires that belong to Quebec United Legions in J111150. Uh, so it's three Ford Azars that went down for them. Uh, Yudama saw Satoyo destroyed. That one was expensive. 400, uh, sorry, 46 billion. Let's take a look at the fittings. This belonged to the Crafts and it was destroyed by Wrecking Machine. You can see the Tech 2 equipment. They had only one rig for, and it was a Tech 1 rig, so... Uh, 
I had uh, over a billion in fuel. So I was getting prepared for the patch that's coming up on the 26th, where if you don't have fuel, you go into an abandoned state. So that was going to survive, but um, it was taken out uh, by a wrecking machine. Okay, he also had a code take out a Sharon in Narsia, which is uh, typical. I check out anything over five, see if there's anything interesting there. Oh, this uh, Jack Xenolith capsule was worth over five billion was destroyed, was killed by Volta. Let's see what plugins he had. Uh, high grade crystals. We saw this basically yesterday. Code Pilot had high grade crystals, I believe. And you have some blingy uh, dreadnought and fax machine in here. All right, going to the battle that happened in Pure Blind. We have Dread Bomb, which I believe is. Hmm. Well, there's Northern Coalition Pandemic Horde, so that's Pandafam, for lack of a better coalition name, up against Goon Federation, Goon Swarm Federation, and the Imperium, basically. Again, this is in pure blind. It's like Horde dropped a capital fleet on the initiative. I think things are heating up here. I think the initiative uh, has been smashing into Horde and uh, I guess Panda Fam. So we'll see if that keeps up. This definitely looks like uh, an organized fleet by Pandemic Horde. Oh, and conifers. See these little trees? That's United Federation of Conifers. That's a neat little uh, alliance. Take a look at them. Yeah, this is like several fleets combined. So yeah, 486. Uh, for the Panda Fam side and uh, 397 on the Imperium side. That is quite a fight. Okay, just looking at some news from Miss Rabbit is making news again. So we'll have to um, go and look at what that's going on. It says Iron Crown is recruiting corpse again. The alliance was sold for one isk by its founder, I think, to Miss Rabbit, and therefore recruiting is open again. I'm going to look into that and see what's going on. Yeah, so uh, I think if you look at the isk loss and efficiency, efficiency is 65% to Horde and Pandafam, and 35% to the Imperium. Uh, as far as ISK efficiency, Horde got this one. Uh, but it looks like maybe the objective, uh, if these were the objective, these four desires, there's three of them, um, were saved because they did not explode. So, big fight in 5ZXX. Let's see, going to the patch notes today, what happened? Gameplay fixes. So this is a, a day of fixes, although we had some extended downtime, it looks like, several hours. Uh, fix an issue to prevent users from seeing daily reward window. 
Okay, I just logged in and it was still, I was still having uh, overlaps. You guys have like, we have two reward programs going on at the same time. And when you log in, one reward will be visible. And once you claim it, you can close it and it goes away. But nothing pops up. You have to go and hit that little thing that looks like a gift on the right hand side. And when you hit that, the second window will pop up for your daily prize. Uh, so if you don't see it, you might just go right into the game and, and miss it. Uh, fix an issue that prevented the Capsuleer Day Cerebral Accelerators from being traded on the market or appearing in search fields. All right, some graphic fixes. Fix an issue that caused some players to experience black screen or invisible ship upon login. Something just shifted. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm seeing if there was any new patch notes dropped just now. Nope, same patch notes. Uh, something just kicked it around. Uh, localization. Uh, some Fix some defects with Korean localization. Uh, PVE fixed uh, clade membership of the final wave of NPCs in the Capsule Clash event. And user interface changes removed the redundant add solar system to overview from the right hand click menu, from the right click menu. And finally, fixed an issue with set destination button resetting itself and not allowing to start conversation with agents from the agency on mission, on the mission your career awaits. So those are very specific fixes. I don't see anything here that accounts for the downtime, but uh, I imagine it had to do with DDoS um, protection. Those are your patch notes for today, Tuesday. A nice picture here from Valos. Welcome to hell. And it is a Triglavian space. You can see some of those asteroids and the beautiful shading that happens there. And EVE Online is offering some, looks like wallpapers or some artwork. That is good stuff. Oh, this is for your mobile phone. So check those out. That's from uh, at EVE Online. Looks good. Okay, well, uh, I want to make a big announcement right now. The last show that we did was fantastic. If you haven't heard the podcast on Sunday, we had uh, kind of a historic show where we went over some Russian history going back to 2010. Uh, some great stuff, some in-game stories, some out-of-game stories, uh, Stuff I hadn't heard before at all. It was really stunning. So it was really interesting. And I suggest you look at it. Specifically the second half of the show with UA X Death uh, and what he was talking about. But the announcement that I wanted to make is the next show on Sunday is going to feature two of the most celebrated FCs in EVE Online. And that would be, uh, and these are legends. Together they're going to appear. We're going to have Mr. V and Shadu. Uh, it's a hard show to put together because of time zone differences, uh, so it's going to be two hours earlier than normal. So this Sunday at 1300, we're going to have Shadu and Mr. V on the same show. And for those that are curious, yes, they are on TIS Discord. They just joined up, uh, so you can see them there, but please don't harass them. Um, or ping them or anything like that. We would frown upon that, but that's going to be something you don't want to miss. That's Sunday, 1300 UTC, Shadu and Mr. V on the same show, talking in stations. Uh, should be a historic, um, should be a historic, a walk down uh, Eve history 
from some of the playmakers of the time. Okay, that's all I have time for today. It's my wife's birthday, so I got to do some more cake baking. And uh, those that didn't see, I got a, I got showered with kisses uh, during the program last Sunday for for baking a cake for Mother's Day. So I'll try I'll try for a a part two, a sequel to that. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. We are going to leave it here. We will be back tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>